So I was asking him, who did this? He said when he had the kitchen installed, the kitchen people did it. Can you believe what some people do? Now, you would think that they would have people going around checking out on their guys, but this was an abomination. I mean, I took a look under there, and actually, let me tell you something. The original leak was coming from the pull-out hose sprayer. So I, I nipped that up right away, put everything back together again, but I said, let me look under the sink here. And when I looked under there, I was like, who does this? Anyway, I suggested that we revamp everything with Schedule 40 PVC, and he agreed to it. So I got to work, and that's what this video is about. So, uh, oh, by the way, if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post new videos. To everybody else that has returned to watch, welcome back, guys. I think you'll enjoy this one. It's a short one, but nevertheless, things turned out real nice. At least I was happy with it. What do you guys think? Check it out. So I got there and the call was for a leak under the sink and actually the, the, the main leak was coming out of the uh, pull out hose sprayer. So I took care of that, it was basically a tightening. And then I looked under the sink and I said, wow, who the heck did this? And he said the people that put the kitchen in a few years ago. Well, as you can see, everything's back pitched, the water's laying in those pipes. And you could see that nut on that T on the right side. Uh, it was leaking, there was a drip in it. And this was like Friday, and I wanted to leave him a way that he could use the sink. And I knew that if I try to put the wrenches on here or pliers, that these nuts weren't going to come off. And they didn't. I ultimately ended up having to cut them off. And so what I did was I jerry-rigged the left sink for him to use. I told him, you can't use the right sink. I'll take care of everything when I come back. We're going to revamp this whole thing with Schedule 40 PVC because this is an absolute wreck. And that's what I did. So I returned actually yesterday. And this is what uh, I came back to because I left him over the weekend. Like I said, I jerry-rigged that uh, sink on the left up. And you can see he had a pot there in case uh, somebody forgot uh, about that right side sink. And I think somebody must have. But anyway, you can see here what a, what a debacle this was. Uh, the way they supported the trap is ridiculous. And you can see coming out of the wall, there are a couple of galvanized nipples. They just stuck a nipple in the wall and then another no-hope clamp and another nipple instead of you know using a proper piece. And I hate when these guys stick the threaded portion of a nipple into a no-hope coupling. That's just a big no-no. Uh, if you want to use a nipple, that's fine. Cut the threads off. Put the uh, nipple in the no-hope coupling without the threads on them. So I wanted to take that out, and uh, you can see here, you see the way those threads are in that no-hub coupling? Now, I had to cut that plywood away in order for me to get a nut driver in there so that I could actually remove this nipple, and I only I only loosened one end of that no-hub clamp. I, I got it really wide open so I could remove that because I was going to put PVC right in there, and the PVC went in there rather well. I mean, I put a little uh, waterproof uh, silicone grease on it and I popped it in and I tightened it up and it worked out real well. Well, what you'll see coming up next is what I started to construct, uh, you know, the two sinks together. Started working out my pitches. Uh, on the right there is a PVC bushing, PVC by half inch IPS bushing, which I used uh, to drain the dishwasher into. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of figuring everything out and constructing everything. And what you'll see next here is uh, the actual PVC I stuck into that no hub coupling. And uh, I actually used a split hanger uh, with a BT plate down to the cabinet base to support this. Uh, and uh, I went back um, today, which is actually February 18th. Uh, to complete the job and uh, filled up both sinks, let them drain. They drain like a charm. And as you can see here, I let the water run. And in a second here, you'll see the final product, the way it all turned out. It turned out really nice. This is the last he's ever going to have to deal with this kitchen sink. I mean, Schedule 40 PVC for all intents and purposes is like a lifetime thing. At least I'm not going to be around when this uh, happens to leak. And I wanted to put a clean out there for future cleanings, you know, in case uh, I couldn't get a clean out tea. They, they were out of stock, so I used a sanitary tea with, a, with an adapter and a plug. But as you can see here, it's all nicely laid out, and he got a lot more room in the cabinet, which he was quite happy about and surprised because he didn't think it was going to, you know, come this nice. 
And as you can see there again, I have my threaded rod supporting everything up. And uh, yeah, he was happy. I mean, I'm happy with the, with the way it turned out. We left the strainers in because he said he paid a lot of money, you know, when he had this sink put in a few years ago. So we left the strainers in. Now that Teflon on that strainer, I didn't put on there. That's from the previous uh, knucklehead who did that. And I actually have those drain hoses supported up top. You can't see I have a piece of wire and a screw in the back of the cabinet supporting the hoses. But overall, I'm happy the way it turned out. He was thrilled with it. And uh, yeah, I think it came out nice. Uh, so what do you guys think? Uh, or how would you guys have approached this? Leave your comments down below. I, I, I'm curious as to what you may have done. So yeah, I packed the whole thing in a Schedule 40 PVC rigid pipe. I even put a clean out there for future cleanings. He's never going to have to be bothered with those drain lines under his kitchen sink again. So what did you think, folks? I thought I did a pretty good job. Um, it's crazy because these kitchen installers send their own people in to do the hookups, and you would think that they would have a supervisor there checking things out to make sure everything goes right. But apparently, as you saw, I guess nobody checked, and uh, I just couldn't leave this the way it was, and so I decided to revamp everything. Turned out real nice. He was very happy with it, and uh, I don't think he's really going to have a problem with stoppages because I actually did the laundry room. Last year down the basement, I repiped the laundry room out. And I'll leave a link to that video right over here. This way you can go check that one out. Folks, I want to thank you for stopping by. I know you have choices when looking for plumbing videos. I'm honored you hit up my channel. I know you guys like to see more uh, shots in the field, and that's what I'm trying to incorporate into the channel. So I want to say I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, let's tell them, happy plumbing, guys.